Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Amanda. And we are serving up all that jam. All that jam, quick hit. Helen Gillett on women in jam bands. Why do you think that there aren't more women in quote unquote, the jam band scene? Well, I think that that's a very like that, that question, we could talk about that for two hours, like just in itself, but you know, there's a lot of reasons, but it has to do with like the nature of being in the world right now and raising families a lot of the men that I was working with and that I still work with have a, a a partner at home that's helping them raise the kids. And, uh, and you know, that there, there needs to be some sort of balance if you're going to be a family of who's, who can do what, you know, and, and traditionally, um, you know, there's the, you know, the wife or the mother ends up taking on a more active role. So really let, I mean, I'm going to the heart of the matter matter right away because that's really what it's about. Um, and I mean, I'm, I, but, but I mean, there are plenty of people that don't have kids. There are plenty of people that uh, have hu- stay at home husbands that can do that work, but it's not the norm. And, and I feel like, I feel like the culture is based around, it, it's just a, a culture, you know, we're talking about 1970s and funk emerging and at the seventies, you know, that it's like a part of the culture to have this dynamic of like, you know, a uh, groupie girl and jam band dude. And so there's, it's a cultural thing, you know, it's like what people are comfortable with or used to. Now that doesn't mean that that hasn't changed. It's changed a lot. There are a lot of women on the scene. There's plenty of powerful women out there kicking ass uh, I, I'm, I count myself lucky to be in that number who, where we just like uncompromisingly just go for the music, you know? Right. CBGBs. I mean, Tina Weymouth, Patty Smith, yes. Debbie Harry. I mean, that but was yes. so powerful to women. Yeah, absolutely. But then, you know, the culture has got to catch up to that shit. Like if you, you know, jam band cruise, you know, be, I want to go on that cruise, you know, where Patty Smith is like headline, you know, like, let's go to that. Let's go on that. Let's do that. I always say that uh, without uh, X Offender by Blondie, that Madonna never would have existed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all I love being part of the fringe because you can, you can truly change things. You're not bound. I'm not bound by any record label or any, anybody telling me what to do. Or I, and I just do what I feel like doing. And I think that the more people that can have the freedom and the, the possibility to do that. That's great. Now, mon- you know, money's involved in all this, right? We need to make money. And so, you know, to get paid the same, I have often gotten jerked around financially and my, my, but I don't let it happen very much. And not off. I used to now, <laughs> now's a different story. I, I really, if somebody's trying to take advantage of the pay situation again, because there's so much sexism, uh, you can, you just, you know, just name drop the last guy that you just like pl- play, played with. And you were like, yeah, don't worry about it. Whatever you paid Mike Dillon is cool with me, you know, or whatever you paid James Singleton. Like I, or Jeff Coffin, I made a duo album with Jeff Coffin and I've just got a, uh, he just put out a second album with me on it, which with James Singleton, Johnny Vodakovich and Tony DeGrotti. It's called Look for Water. So, so you got three quarters of Astral Project there, huh? Exactly. He was mooching. He basically hired Astral Project and added me in the mix, you know. Um, but but it was uh, an absolute honor to play with those guys. But I'm just like, yeah, whatever you paid those guys. I mean, I remember one time we played a gig. I won't name any names or anything, but there was the promoter paid Jeff more than me and we had a duo project. And he was like, oh, but you know, Jeff Coffin, he's famous and Dave Matthews Band and Bella Fleck and I was like, and and Jeff got wind of it. I didn't even have to say one word. Jeff was like, no, no, we're not going to do that. Let's take it back, count the money, divide it in half and give us each one half of that. So it's just, you you know what I mean? Like you got to, but you got to check people. People have it ingrained. It's a, it's, it's an ingrained thing. You got to like, 
you have to shake it loose, you know? It is. I, I struggle. My poor kids, um, just watching when they first went to school, how they were immediately brainwashed in elementary school to stuff. You know, they came home like, this isn't the way the world you presented to me. I, I yeah. was a single dad, so they, they, they had a weird worldview, I guess, coming up. That's good, though. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's the thing is, like, who's defining this normal thing? Like, like, let's and, and, and none of us are normal, especially not in the jam band crew. Like, we're all <laughs> we're all like we're all of a bunch of freaks. You know, it's just like it's good. It's and, and it I mean, I I'm I'm sort of a surprising freak. People see me. They see this like, you know, white lady with a cello and they're like oh okay it's gonna be this and then i like sit down and start playing and they're like what the hell is going on here you know like i opened up for les claypool and broke two strings i was by myself at the orpheum theater and i i broke some strings while i was playing obviously i was hitting the strings extra hard because it's les claypool right. um but i i was like yeah you guys want to see me change a string and like i had the whole everybody like i just it doesn't matter what you look like what your what body you're born into if you if you have the spirit of music you can take that with you and it can be a passport and an entry point into just about anything you know especially yep. especially in new orleans was really inviting man it was like i could talk my way into like i said on almost any band with just gumption you know like right. you need a cello in this band don't right. you confidence is key that's right. Oh my God. What would I be without it? If you are enjoying all that jam, please like, and subscribe to our social media channels at all that jam pod on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our website, all that jam Make sure to sign up for our email list and tune in every week for new episodes. Also look for full interviews on our YouTube channel and remember stay beautiful, but don't stay underground too long. 